Crazy Night of Fights. I'm here with uh, Michael Chiesa, who was a commentator today for the Venator FC. Were you the one that was a color commentator or you were the one that knows a bit about MMA? Uh, a little bit of both, you know, uh, they just, they brought me in to do the color, color commentary, but I did my study and I studied all the guys on the card. Uh, one thing I want to say is Italy is chock full of raw talent. There's a lot of talented fighters here. I was very impressed with the showing from my brothers from the homeland. Which, uh, which fight impressed you the most? We had a lot of stars here and also a lot, a lot of uh, Italian home country heroes. You know, I got to give it to, to Emil in the in the main event. I mean, to put a guy like Paul Harris away in less than a minute, he did it better than anybody in the UFC has done. And that's a guy that's still very relevant in the sport. I mean, he just won the World Series of Fighting title, and he just got beat in less than a minute. I mean, that's just, I was so shocked when it happened. It took me a second to get a cheer out. I was <laughs> like, whoa, that was crazy. But I mean, every fight was great, one decision. And even that one was exciting. So it, it was been a great night. And what about Sokoju who hammered Hamill and uh, Colin McKenzie who, uh, who who fought with bro a broken collarbone, I think, or some something uh, ripped off? I think Cody separated his AC joint. I had a similar injury. looked looked just like the one I had had before. But uh, you know, Sokoju and Hamill, that was a fight I was excited for. It's always hard to see a guy like Hamill go out like that. You know, he's put his time in the sport. He's a hero in his own right with everything he's been through in his life. Cody, he's a personal friend of mine. I've known him for about 10 years and. Uh, I'm glad to see him get a win and snap that six-fight losing streak. Good showing by both guys. We have few lightweights right now in UFC, in lightweight uh, uh, category. What You have a fight coming up with uh, Tony Ferguson, yes. I guess, uh, on July. What would be the perfect uh, scenario for you if you win this fight and after the fight? Uh, you know, when I win this fight against Tony, I'm definitely looking for the finish like I always am. I'm looking to go out there, go forward, get a finish make my statement. I want to fight for a title. I want to be world champion. I think I deserve that. Uh, if you look at the list of guys I fought in the UFC, I haven't had an easy fight. My win streak in itself has been pretty impressive. And, uh, you know, I just want to keep the momentum rolling, keep the ball rolling, just go out there, fight this guy the way I fight everybody, get a win and get my title shot. Thank you for your time. It was great seeing you live. Thank you. Good luck.